In this video tutorial, we will teach you how to create offers and display them on your page using slider items available in the Muffin Builder. First, let's log into our WordPress dashboard and find the Offer menu item from the main admin menu. Here, we have already created two example offers. Let's create a third one. To start, click on the Add New button. Starting from the top, we see the title field, which we will name Desserts. Below it, we can see the editor area. Here, you can insert and format text, images, or even add short codes. For this video, we will just add some text. Moving on, we can see the button title and link. If you do not wish to have a button, leave those two fields blank. We will fill ours with the Muffin Group page URL. If you're linking outside of your website, like we're doing here, it's a good idea to switch the open link in a new window toggle to on. Btheme offers two items to display offers. One is named Offer Slider Full, and the second one is called Offer Slider Thumb. If you want to use the Offer Slider Thumb, you will also need to insert a thumbnail image into this field. It's best to use a small square image for this. Moving on the right side, we see the categories. When adding the offer item inside the Muffin Builder, you can choose which category to display or not select anything to show all of them. The last and maybe the most important field is the featured image. We suggest using 960 by 540 pixels images for those, but if you want to add more content, you can also use taller images. The final decision is up to you. Okay, since we're all done, let's click Publish to save our work. Great, we now have three offers ready. To show them on any page, we need to use the Muffin Builder items. We have already prepared a section on the home page where we want the offers to display. Let's edit this page. Once we are in the Muffin Builder, we can click Add Item. Since there are a lot of them, we will use the search option. Typing in Offer shows us two offer slider items that we previously talked about. Let's first add the offer slider full item. If we edit it, we can choose a category. Since we did not add any, the slider will show all of the offers. You can also choose the text alignment option. This option will not affect the button position. OK, let's update the page and see how this looks. Great, we can see our just created offer. It has the featured image, the title, button, and content we have inserted. You can also click on the up and down arrows to switch between offers. The lollipop slide did not have the button field populated. This is why it does not show the button. Okay, now let's try to use the second item, which is the offer slider thumb. We will return to the page editor and replace the current offer slider full item with the thumbnail one. If we edit it, we can see that it has more options available. Besides the category and text align options, it also lets you choose the position of the thumbnail images. They can be either left or at the bottom. We will see how both of them look like. Let's update the page and see how it looks. Excellent! The slider shows our offers with the thumbnails at the bottom. You can click on each thumbnail to display the corresponding offer. Let's quickly change the style to make the thumbnails appear on the left side. OK, this looks great! Now, if you do not want to click on the arrows or thumbnails to switch the slides, you can enable Auto Slide. To do that, go to Theme Options, then click on Global and Sliders. Here you see a list of all slider items that B-Theme offers. The zero value means that the slider will not auto-slide. We will type in 3000 in the offer slider field, which means that the slide duration will be 3 seconds since the value is represented in milliseconds. Remember always to save changes. If we go to the home page, we can see that the slides change automatically. This is also a pause on hover option enabled by default. If you hover on the offer slider, the auto slide will not work until you move your cursor away from the item. Thanks for watching this video and remember that if you have any questions, 
please visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com.